performers of all kinds attended the Kiwanis Music Festival in hopes of receiving feedback on a skill that many hope will lead them into a career. Solo performer Troy Goldthorpe competed in the over 19 and up tempo class performing The Brain by Anne Frankenstein. You do your number and then the adjudicator, so this year we have someone from Sheridan College comes in and gives a public adjudication of your number. So tells you things you can improve on, things that she really liked, that sort of idea. So. Executive Director for the event Mary Ross says that this year they expect to see over 11,000 young performers at the event. For those who want to become musicians, it actually gives them a leg up because when they go to do auditions at university a few years down the road, they're going to find that the fact that they've had somebody already critiquing them and giving them feedback is actually going to be to their benefit. Chamber music artist Mark McLean says he agrees and knows firsthand how important events like these can be. It really helps because you, you, we go to lessons every week, which gives feedback, but from bit different artists from uh, around the country or, or even province. Uh, it really helps, and it uh, really helps to develop and we mature each, each year coming to Kiwanis and different festivals. Like any skill, though, in order to succeed, practice makes perfect. We practice maybe four hours a week, which is a, which is a lot. And then, uh, but we also this is chamber music, us coming together, but separately we practice maybe two hours a day separately. So it's quite a bit of work. Most people choose their songs like probably like seven, eight months in advance and start practicing. So the song I did today, I've been performing for about a year, and then brought it forward. I'm always very impressed because I know how hard they've worked, and it's just amazing to see them come together. For Shaw TV, I'm Lindy Free.